Okay, so hopefully I can record this without the wind bothering us too much with sound. But we finally got our flags put up for perimeter fencing um, and a lot of our uh, livestock fencing. But um, not all of it, but most of it <clears throat> that we need right now. So this goes all the way down um, close to the ditch here and then cuts all the way over to the other side. Um, but right here you'll see four um, in a rectangle. So there's these two and then those two. And that's going to be like a lean-to shelter for the cows that is open south facing. And then this is actually going to be open and this is probably completely rotted out and is going but um, so we'll have a straight open shot to the windmill and then when we walk up to the windmill sorry if that one's bothering then the fencing continues on the other side and this will be um, a calving area so these four this one this one this one and this one will be a shelter for the calves and then that flag right there this will mark their perimeter um, for their yard and then between these two flags will be a gate open to this larger area which can also be used for the calves this um, right here between this one and this one, whoops, where'd it go? There you go. Um, will be another gate over to here, and we have fencing going all the way around. This will be um, the area basically for added pasture, but also when we do have hogs, um, that's where our hogs will go. Hopefully, getting some this summer, thanks to a friend of ours. And then we have this flag that goes all the way down oops, to the end there, not quite to our perimeter. We're leaving a nice mode area on the outside um, so that we don't get in trouble with the people we share the property with on this side. So um, they'll have this nice tree, which will probably fence off just to protect it, but they'll have a nice shaded area um, I believe I was told it's a silver maple, so it's going to get nice and big. And don't worry, the bushes are on the outside. <laughs> There's my daughter thinking I'm leaving her. <laughs> I'm not leaving you, baby. Look, I'm just walking up here. Okay, she's all better. She's walking with mom. So, we we'll walk back up this way. And see that's where the fencing stops there at the corner. It'll go all the way up here to this corner flag right there. And then between whoops, this and that one will be a nice big gate so that we can get in and through to the entire fenced areas. And over here see all of the lumber that's already here for posts but this these four are oops where'd it go there we go um are going to be the chicken coop slash whatever meat birds we have um so our layers will have one side and they'll hopefully end up free ranging a lot and then the other side will be for whenever we have um, meat birds that we're butchering in a few weeks or, um, you know, eventually turkey or any other type of animal like that. Um, probably even temporarily use it for ducks um, until they learn to coop up at night. And <clears throat> um, so then the fenced area is going to come out to this flag here. So then um, it'll be split, but there's going to be a door so that they can access both sides. Um, and that way um, our layers don't mess with the meat birds since they tend to sit down a lot. And I believe that that's it. 
Uh, I'm glad to take everybody along with this journey and hopefully everything turns out like I hope it will. <laughs> um, and wish us luck. Thanks.